working as assistant professor in the department of management studies, Bishop Beaver College, Trichirapalli. I am also working as a freelancer for the event management industry for the last 20 years. But my basic ideology is event management students should always think that you should work very hard to reach uh, unreachable heights. Hard work 24 by 7 only will make you to the top. We are going to discuss about the relationship between the client and the sponsor. We might have been did so many events or uh, uh, many type of events you might have been witnessed it, but as a event manager or as a event management company, it is very, very important to maintain the relationship with the sponsor even after the uh, event got over uh, because the sponsor is not a one time sponsor or not for a particular event alone. You should always try to satisfy the sponsor who is going to sponsor your event. The reason is that after all he is also a person who is expecting all type of human relations with the company. So we the event managers we should not treat them as only a client but also a human relations of the world. We should try to take them or take their relationship not too close as your personal relationship but try to maintain a professional relationship with them forever. How is it possible? It is very much possible the way how we are talking to them the way how we are addressing their problems or the way how we are going to respond to their queries through this it is very much possible you can satisfy the sponsors. The sponsor may be a small sponsor or a title sponsor, he may be a repeated sponsorship person, it does not the matter. Sometimes we will be giving more respect to the people those who are giving lot of money as sponsorship. Sometimes we may be giving more importance to the person who is having some political influence or a star status or the company is having a very good brand and doing imaging a lot of things but that should not be the correct attitude for an event management company. The reason is you should be very very clear that whatever may be the sponsorship they are giving it everything you have to take it in a professional mechanism along with the agreements and what are all the objectives of the particular event the fullest satisfaction you have to give it to them. So it is the duty of the particular event management company or the manager in charge to look after the basic criteria of crea creating a better relationship with the client as well as with the sponsors. Learning objectives, after studying this particular course you should try to understand how to maintain a better understanding with the sponsor, building credibility, agreements, mobile contacts, in-depth analysis, trustworthy, update, protect the rights, add value with low cost, be a learner, motivate your staff, celebrity meeting, media assistance, intro to market, main sponsor. These are all the topics we are going to cover in this particular video. Better understanding, have a clear contract with your client right at the beginning. A better understanding of the client's role and even organization services will make a, a good head start to this relationship. Convey and make your client understand about what your role is and what your role is not. That is 
very very important point you and your client should know when the event will be over and how you will measure its success better understanding talks with the clarity between you and your client will result in an improved relationship remember that you need to maintain professionalism that is see to it that clients sponsors are treated effectively and efficiently with their reasonable demands met in the speedy manner this is because sponsorship is a partnership and loyalty to that partnership uh, will be prepaid credibility should be maintained staying focused on your contract on on your deliverables is the best thing you can do to maintain and build your client relationship when you say that you will deliver it and deliver to the client as promised you build your own credibility and enhance your relationship agreement it is a very important point we should take into consideration while creating the agreements a sponsorship agreement by outlining every detail that is uh, each and every detail and benefit the sponsor will receive as well as gives a visual to the sponsor with the expectations clearly delineated for the bo for both the parties and guaranteeing that no details is forgotten mobile contacts the mobile contact a person uh, for the sponsor who is within reach uh, through mobile phone who can make important decisions and uh, forge harmonious relationship with sponsor staff that is the staff should be polite and gentle with the client in depth analysis it would be beneficial to the research on the sponsors organization the staff about the products about the brands and their marketing strategies in order to maintain a um, harmonious relationship and satisfy the sponsors needs better and trustworthy as a service provider you are to be seen as a trustworthy business partner and help the client partnership provides a level of trust in the relationship where the client may take your suggestions as do as you recommend as an expert in the events field the trustworthiness is the main part of all agreements as well as partnership dealings to get higher value from the event client will have to involve themselves with the event activities actively right from the time of event being to the actual execution of the event this has become some of the best ideas come through partnerships when the grand australian sumo tournament was held in sydney and melbourne in the year 1997 toyota was the major sponsor with a sumo national advertising campaign in television and print media this campaign contributed to the image of the sumo visit as a major cultural event celebrating the ceremony of australian japan relations and this trustworthy should be in the part of sales of toyota got promoted as well as the profile of the event through this sponsorship thus how were renowned or good the event company or event organizer is the clients have to do their part by engaging effectively in event activities value add with low cost the value to the client with extra activities in the client it is important to add as much value as possible to the sponsorship deal preferably at the lowest cost to the clients host of the event and for example if the client is looking for pre event publicity then it could be dealt by sending out an email about the event to the target audience announcing the client as a event sponsor as well as including their company logo and a link to their website when uh, he can or uh, she can extremely valuable to them 
and should ensure that the client is not additionally charged for this. This is considered as the duty of each and every event management company. In addition, we can also consider including the client and the social media campaign of the event in press release. Be a learner. Always the event management company as well as the organizational staff should be a learner. Be a learner by being open to new approaches and approaching each project with fresh eyes. The client might expect a service from you that is creative, more creative, innovative and more challenging from what you have done before. For example, organizing an innovational, innovative uh, educational convention that is more participatory and uh, activity packed with experiments and intellectual games. Hence, there are always nuances that you can incorporate that will make a difference. Take the time to inquire about them and interrogate them into your solution. Motivate your staff. As an event organizer, motivate your staff members about the sponsorships and about the sponsor's history. Inform them adequately about the objectives of the sponsorship and how the needs of the sponsor can be satisfied. For example, the sponsor might want the staff of the event company to wear their uh, wear a uniform uh, that bears the logo of the sponsor and so on. And uh, the very important point is that uh, celebrity meeting. In every meeting or in a, every event, uh, the sponsor allowed to contribute uh, just because we are inviting some celebrity to the event. There may be uh, used celebrities, uh, we may use celebrities like uh, film actors, sports stars or uh, theatrical celebrities or sometimes maybe politicians, uh, uh, national or international artists to add value to the event. Arrangements should be made for the uh, person or the sponsors to meet such a celebrity that is supposed to be the dream of uh, so many sponsors. So, we have to arrange for some photographical session or some uh, uh, meeting session or uh, high tea session along with them. Use all the available media to acknowledge the sponsor's assistance. This does not only show courteousness but may probably be a part of the contract. There could be a use of media like public address system, media releases announcement on websites, newsletters, annual report post event meetings and staff briefing. Media assistance is also one of the basic concept which the every sponsor allowed to have it. Uh, intro to market that is keep a sponsorship launch to tell the market uh, or to tell the target audience that a particular brand or a, for example a Samsung or a Coca Cola will be the sponsors of the event. Uh, that the company or the sponsors need in the in that particular event. The style of lunch will depend upon the type of sponsorship and the creativity of the event organizer. So, how creatively we are going to introduce them that matters. And then update, keep monitoring the media for all the coverage and stories about the event and update each and every minute to the sponsor on this uh, with the help of copies of media reports uh, or you can send a mail uh, stating about the media status uh, and what are all the details which is going on in that. Uh, this will convey to the sponsor that the event is taking interesting or uh, which is going to happen in a very different manner. Uh, it will give a, a very uh, repetitive or uh, uh, innovative idea or uh, visualization by the sponsor. Um, uh, the alert to the benefits also should be mentioned uh, to the people, uh, those who are involved in that. Uh, the sponsor will always uh, try to receive more benefit uh, out of these type of media. Main sponsor, you should give more importance to the main sponsor. There are many sponsors, uh, there are small uh, sponsors or uh, very big sponsors uh, or sometimes uh, they may be a new sponsor to the company. If there are many sponsors for the event, make sure that the logo of the principal sponsor or the main stage sponsor, the one who has paid the most, uh, that means he may have been given a lot of money for the event, uh, is seen as everything. The event does such as t-shirts, uh, flags or uh, stationary items, everything. 
protect the rights. All communication ensuring the event organization should have the naming rights of the sponsor. Uh, this is supposed to be the point we should keep it in mind if the event has given naming rights to the sponsor, we have to protect the rights. Efforts should be made to ensure that the media is aware of and use the name of the event uh, although this is sometimes difficult, it must be attempted, recognize them. They love to recognize in the event uh, on the stage that is more important to remember always. Lastly, work at it, recognize that client, the relationship is part of the job. Working on the relationship will not only make you successful in the current project, but it will enhance your uh, chance for future work and make the project more enjoyable. You can meet them anytime and after the event also you will get a good rapport with them. Always follow up with the sponsors after an event. Uh, let them know how successful the event was, uh, conduct frequent meetings with the uh, sponsors and how important it was for them to be a part of it and try to bring all the people uh, to the event. Continue to build on your experience and uh, nurture for relationship. Uh, you have to be very, very careful in maintaining the relationship. Uh, uh, sometimes the relationship may be beyond the screen or it may be too personal, but that should not be happen at all. Protect all your staff and at the same time, the uh, target audience also will be focusing on these type of matters. We should have a control over all these items. Knowing the client and understanding what the client want is the initial key step in planning the event. Before planning the event, you should go for entire analysis about the client, about the matter what you are going to discuss, who are all going to be the celebrity you are going to invite, um, what about the location, how you are going to use the logo, uh, what is the plan for executing each and every step, who are all the people going to look after your technical support, how you are going to get the sponsor in the form of money or in the form of technical support or where we are going to use their logos, or how we are going to make PR, public relations, everything should create before thinking into consideration the long term relationship with the client or with the sponsor. Going further, the next unit will tell us how important event feasibility is as a brainstorming phase where several ideas were thrown around to see which is the best for conducting the event. We should as a, a management company or a freelancer or a, a manager or a event management company in charge, we should always try to mention the sponsorship or the title of the sponsor each and every announcement we are making between the events. Ensure that not even a single point goes wrong from our company side. This is not a temporary relationship. The word of mouth or the goodwill which the customer is going to deliver or the sponsor is going to deliver about your company, the ma event management company is going to give you the future business. So, every point uh, you should be very, very careful while you are maintaining the relationship. Sometimes the client or the sponsor may be uh, very, very stringy in spending or uh, maybe nagging uh, with certain items going on asking or uh, simply they will be very much panic about uh, what about their brand image and other things. But we should not feel that uh, this is uh, uh, the first event uh, for us or for them. You have to very clearly explain to them that nothing will happen to their brand or uh, uh, nothing will be a new session for us and at the same time the uh, steps what you are going to take uh, to protect the uh, consumer or the target audience uh, uh, views should be very much uh, communicated to the sponsor. The sponsor think about the franchisee or the new product launch uh, that point what you want exactly for this particular sponsorship should be understand by the uh, event manager or the administrative staff who is going for the meetings or uh, uh, sitting with them or attending the sponsor 
obviously they should be in a position to explain what the company is going to do, how the event will be, the entire event mapping should be clearly given to them. Uh, they may understand certain technical points, sometimes they may not understand the technical points, but it is not our duty to explain uh, uh, that they are not understanding it or we are giving some excuses uh, stating that uh, uh, they could not understand what we are trying to say. It is not the way we are going to communicate to the sponsor. If they are understanding the point or not, uh, it is our duty to go and explain in person what they need it or what we are going to do it. This is the entire blueprint uh, about the backstage or about the event which is going to be delivered. Everything should be clearly given to them. Then only we can uh, create a long term relationship. You may be thinking that the client may be or the sponsor may be doing the business only once or twice. But it is not like that. Even if you are not doing any business with a client, the relationship what you are going to maintain will be for last long. Uh, I can give an example of myself. Um, uh, there was a, a wedding shoot uh, and uh, which will be accompanied by a birthday party also. But uh, the client was not at all giving any information to me regarding the uh, birthday party. Actually the birthday party is also not belongs to them. It belongs to some of their staff, uh, uh, a manager who is working in their uh, concern. But when the uh, wedding shoot was going on uh, and uh, wedding was uh, going on, this particular person is coming and uh, telling us that uh, uh, we have to conduct a celebrate a birthday party uh, for my staff. Uh, it is supposed to be the official uh, meeting. Uh, it, it is a honor for him. So, I have I want to just make arrangement for that. But it was not at all given anywhere that we have to arrange for a, a birthday cake. We asked them to uh, just wait for a minute and then we told them that it is not an issue. So, we can do it, but the cake we have to go and order and it must, uh, it will take a time. Before that, uh, we can finish off all this shooting and ask him to wait. But that particular manager also want to go for another task. Uh, this is a very crucial situation. When the information was given to the staff and they are coming and informing me, I said that, uh, Okay, it is not an issue, send somebody, but everybody is about to move from the place. At that time, we want the target audience to be available in that particular uh, shoot. At the end of the marriage, we asked them to stay back and uh, again we had conducted a show. Uh, immediately, we arranged some uh, tables and chairs and then we asked them to do some games on that and we did it. At last we finished the birthday party and uh, the person who was uh, just crying on the stage, uh, I did not expect that uh, within a, a short span of uh, a time you did excellent work and uh, this is supposed to be the reputation of myself and my family and uh, you did the uh, awesome work and they, uh, after that we never demand for the payment for the extra works. Only we charge the uh, bills of cakes and other uh, snack items which are, which we did it uh, spontaneously. But that person was so happy and he added the payment of uh, some 10,000, 20,000 bucks extra for us to uh, uh, go and uh, take it and uh, he gave compliment of so many things uh, from that marriage uh, uh, gifts and other things uh, to all my staff and we were all very happy that uh, this particular client is uh, moving with us and remembering us forever. The other works what we are getting it immediately is uh, the name or the reputation what he is giving to us is that uh, you do not worry when you are giving a work to this particular company to this particular madam she can manage any situation. Uh, she can do wonders, uh, she is having innovative ideas. So, please give the works to them. Uh, uh, with the reference of this particular client, uh, we got lot of events uh, uh, in corporates uh, like uh, corporate events, uh, family get togethers uh, and then uh, uh, new year celebration. So, these type of uh, very big events we got at. So, always remember that the client relationship should not end only with the event uh, when you are closing it. It should be forever. Then and there uh, during uh, this uh, uh, what you can say the leave time or in your free time just make a call to the people and just ask them that how are you. So, any requirement please remember us. 
and just send I am having a, a separate peculiar system that uh, every client detail I will keep it and uh, automatic mail generation I am having it I uh, will fix all these clients uh, birthday dates uh, a separate card will be prepared and which will be sent to them as well as in the mail if they are in the local then I will be uh, sending a small bouquet to each and everybody on that particular day. It may not be a big task uh, for us, uh, but that gives a very good opinion or the value or the reputation or the relationship with that particular client. No client should go with ill feeling. Even the client may be new to the event management uh, sector or to the industry, you should always remember he should be very very happy after handing over all the events to us and successful completion of our work. Thank you.